1969, humanity did the impossible. A human being walked on the moon. But here's the part most people forget it wasn't just about landing there. It was about winning a race that could have changed the world forever. Was the moon landing truly about science or power? What do you think? It all began with the space race, the Cold War competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. When the Soviets launched Sputnik in 1957 and later sent Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space in 1961, America was desperate to catch up. So President John F. Kennedy promised, before this decade is out, we will land a man on the moon. After years of testing, disaster, and triumph, the Apollo 11 mission launched on July 16, 1969. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins traveled over 380,000 kilometers to reach the moon. Four days later, Armstrong guided the lunar module Eagle down to the Sea of Tranquility. At 0256 UTC on July 21st, he stepped onto the surface and said the words that echoed through history. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. For two and a half hours, Armstrong and Aldrin explored, set up experiments, and planted the American flag. Meanwhile, Collins stayed in orbit alone, waiting to bring them home. They collected 21.5 kilograms of lunar rock and soil, proof humanity had truly touched another world. When they splashed down safely on July 24, 1969, over 600 million people had watched history unfold live the largest audience ever at the time. NASA went on to send five more Apollo missions to the moon, each one expanding what we knew about our solar system. But here's what I want to know if humans could do that with 1960s technology. What's stopping us from going back today? Drop your thoughts in the comments.